with a lifetime in politics during which he was schooled by some of the best in the business, Stevenson King understands the importance of timing and he used it to good effect in announcing his departure from the party which he had served in so many capacities for so many years. In stating the grounds for the divorce, the former party leader cited irreconcilable differences with the party he said had lost its way. And after having spent so much time, indeed for the past few years, attempting to share my wisdom with my colleagues, to pursue a different brand of politics, I have reached the inevitable and painful conclusion that I can no longer be part of an organization that I can hardly recognize. King painted a picture of a cabinet and a party which placed self-interest over the interest of the people. Politics must be about the people and it must be for the people and country. When it fails to do so, we lead ourselves down the dangerous slippery slope towards the most egregious abuses of power. I have therefore decided that I will not be putting myself forward as one of the candidates for the UWP at the upcoming general elections. I will, however, in answer to the calls of so many people, both here and abroad, and in the constituency of Castries North, be contesting the general elections as an independent candidate, seeking a mandate as a patriotic St. Lucian in the Parliament of St. Lucia. The former Prime Minister said he had tried in vain to direct his cabinet colleagues onto the right path, hoping that his many years of experience would hold some sway with ministers. King says it is painful to say goodbye, but he could not continue to delude himself. Today, I find myself unable to recognize the founding principles of my party in the government that I am supposedly a part of and say Saphaflambo. In all good conscience, I cannot go to the people and ask them to endorse for another five years what has just preceded us and to repose the leadership of this country in the same group of people in some mistaken belief that it will be all right in the morning. Stevenson King could have chosen to part ways with the United Workers' Party after the general election or during mid-term. His decision to leave at the end of the term, ahead of the election, he argues, is the more honorable time to do it. But the timing has left some United Workers' Party supporters feeling betrayed and with just over two weeks before the poll, the United Workers' Party has been left scampering to minimize the damage from his unscheduled departure. Stanley Lucien for the HDS News Force.